I'm going to introduce you to VRA Suite Lifecycle Manager and demonstrate how to use it to install VRA. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Bavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. Okay, without further ado, let's begin our introduction to vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager. As you can see from this graphic, Lifecycle Manager is a product that's used to manage the entire lifecycle of other VMware products. Now, historically, um, products such as vRealize Automation, vRealize Business, vRealize Operations, Log Insight, and Network Insight were developed by different teams of engineers, and as a result, they um, have historically had significantly different methods for installation. So one of the things that VRI's suite Lifecycle Manager has done right from the beginning is to provide a common interface for installing all these different products. But Lifecycle Manager is not limited to simplifying the installation of these various products. VRI's suite Lifecycle Manager also aid you in configuration management of each of those different products. Additionally, if you're creating content in each of the products, uh, for instance, if I'm creating blueprints in VRealize Automation, or I'm creating reports in VRealize Business, or I'm creating dashboards, or reports, or views, or alerts in VRealize Operations, if I'm creating different types of content like these in these various products, Lifecycle Manager makes it easy to centrally manage all the content, um, which is particularly useful in a multi-environment deployment where you want to have that content distributed to your different environments. Lifecycle Manager also assists you in monitoring the health of these various products. Plus, it's integrated with marketplace.vmware.com and my.vmware.com. So in both of those locations, there's various software that you can install from VMware and third-party companies. And Lifecycle Manager, through that direct integration, makes it simple through Lifecycle Manager itself to obtain and download those various pieces of software and install them and manage their lifecycle through the Lifecycle Manager product. Additionally, Lifecycle Manager enables you to patch and upgrade the various products that you see listed here. So there you have a quick introduction to Lifecycle Manager, but you came here to see some demos. So let's head to the lab environment. Okay, to get started, we're gonna log into VRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager as admin at local. And when we log in on the home screen, we see five different services. Lifecycle Operations is where we're going to go in a few moments to perform the actual installation. But notice there are four other services called Locker, User Management, Content Management, and Marketplace. Now, over in Marketplace, we could go browse for various software that's available from VMware. Um, in this particular instance here, we're going to be installing VMware vRealize automation 8.0.1. In order to do so, we've already connected Lifecycle Manager to our my.vmware.com account. And additionally, we've done a little bit of setup here in the locker. Now, as you can see in the locker, we have locations to store certificates that we're gonna use in the various products that Lifecycle Manager is managing. Plus, we also have a section for storing the licenses for those products and Additionally, we have a section for storing all the various passwords. Again, these three different types of uh, sensitive information are all stored securely in the locker. And additionally, once they're stored in the locker, it's going to be very, very easy to apply these to the various products that we're installing. Now, as you can see, I already have some passwords defined here. Additionally, I have some licenses. What I wanted to do, though, to give you a feeling for what this looks like is to show you creating a certificate. Again, this is a sensitive piece of information that we want to handle carefully, but we also want it to be easy to work with with the products such as VRA that we'll be installing. Now, as you can see here, if I choose to, I can generate a self-signed certificate. That's what we'll actually do in this demonstration. But additionally, I could generate a certificate signing request 
send that certificate signing request to an official certificate authority such as verisign.com and then import that certificate into VRA. So again, uh, you have the choice here to work with self-signed certificates with all the usual security caveats that come along with that, or you can use a real certificate from an official certificate authority. Again, in this particular demo here, we're just gonna simply generate a self-signed certificate by clicking Generate. And when we do so, we're asked to supply various inf information. So for instance, we need to begin by giving a name for the certificate. Why don't we call it, since I'm only gonna use the certificate on my, um, my VRA product, I'll call this certificate, how about we call it VRA uh, cert for my lab. Now, the certificate needs to have a common name. In this case here, I'm gonna set the common name to sa-vra-01.vclass.local. The organization that I want stamped into the certificate is VMware. Um, for the organizational unit, let's plug in education and the country code. I'm located in the United States, so I'll put United States. Now, additionally, in the certificate, I can supply other information such as locality, the state we're located in. I can set the key length and so forth, but I'll just go with the defaults for those. And then down below, what I'm going to do is to plug in the actual information that is at the heart of the certificate. The certificate, uh, as I'm setting up, is just going to be for one specific server, a server called sa-vra-01.vclass.local. Uh, on the other hand, if I wanted to, I, with Lifecycle Manager, I can use uh, subject alternative names to have a single certificate that encompasses all of the different servers in my uh, VRally suite. But again, we'll keep it nice and simple here, just one server, FQDN, and additionally, I'm going to supply its IP address, so 192, excuse me, 172.20.10.63, if I recall correctly. And then if we scroll down a bit further, as you can see, there's a button to actually generate this self-signed certificate. So let's click that. And as you can see, we now have a certificate that I created previously and the new certificate that I'm just about to use. And again, this certificate, along with my licenses, along with my passwords, are all stored securely within Lifecycle Manager. But let's actually go back to our home screen again. This time we'll go to Lifecycle Operations Join me in the next video as we continue our introduction to VRLI Suite Lifecycle Manager.